Today, Emiliano Sala described his move to the Premier League as the dream of a lifetime. Très content d'être d'être ici avec vous. Et ça me fait énormément plaisir et j'ai hâte de de commencer les entraînements. Soon after the formalities in Cardiff, he set off for Nantes to see the French teammates he was leaving behind. Before boarding a plane back to Wales yesterday, he posted a picture of that farewell, the poignant yet tragic tagline, La Ultima Ciao, the final goodbye. Today, Cardiff City's chief executive reflected on how excitement has turned to sadness. She was absolutely ready to, to give it a go and, and uh, we knew we knew him then and we, we really feel sad to hear of this news because we have met such a, such a great person. The plane, a single-engine Piper Malibu, took off from Nantes at 7.15 last night. It was due to land at Cardiff Airport a couple of hours later. But at 8.23, it lost contact with air traffic control, 15 miles north of Guernsey in the Channel Islands. After the search was cooled off in difficult conditions last night, the Coast Guard rescue operation using lifeboats and helicopters resumed at 8 o'clock this morning. I doubt very much whether they were wearing survival gear um, and the water temperature is just above 10 degrees at the moment, so that, that doesn't give you very long before you start to, to freeze up. 28-year-old Salah moved to France eight years ago, first playing for Bordeaux and then, in 2015, joining Nantes. The French club's chairman said of him today, he was a polite, kind and adorable boy, loved by everyone. He was very respectful, very courteous. A small collection of tributes have been left outside the club, tributes to a young man who might never have played a game for Cardiff City, but will always be remembered here. As he will be in Nantes, where tonight fans who only a week ago were cheering him on staged a vigil, chanting his name praying for a miracle, but realistically fearing the worst.